Ladies and gentlemen, Peyton Gendron's attorney is trying to work out a deal where he will plead guilty as long as the death penalty is taken off of the table. Isn't this amazing? He walked into a supermarket and put random people to death, but he himself don't want to be put to death. This is why you get called cowards. Yeah, it, it, when it comes time for somebody else to die, it's all fine and good. When your time comes, just the thought of it, oh, no, no, that shouldn't happen. Yeah, whatever. So this is the federal part of the plea deal, that they're trying to get the death penalty taken off the table, although, in my opinion, it should stay on the table. All right, he killed 10 people that never did one single thing wrong to him. 10 people. He just walked in a store and targeted them and killed them. And remember, three others were injured. This was at the Tops grocery store there in Buffalo, New York, back in May. So on November 28th, he already pled guilty to state charges. So now this is the federal charges. And okay, so this is domestic terrorism. This is definitely a hate crime. He had the N-word on his weapon. And so they've already, at the state level, they've already slapped 10 charges of first-degree murder 10 charges of second-degree murder as a hate crime, three counts of attempted second-degree murder as a hate crime, and one count of second-degree criminal possession of a weapon. So I'm going to go ahead and play this audio for you from NPR. This is Dave Debo, WBFO News. Peyton Gendron's defense attorney says he is prepared to enter a guilty plea on federal charges, similar to what he did in New York State in the top shooting massacre on May 14th, but only if their talks on mitigation, taking the death penalty off the table, prevail. Attorneys for Gendron asked a judge to grant them another 90 days to go through the, quote, multiple terabytes of evidence that the prosecution has provided, including videos of the shooting. But ultimately, before he said yes to that, federal judge Kenneth Schrader asked several questions about last month's guilty plea to multiple state murder, hate crime, and domestic terror charges. Why do we need to spend a lot of time on substantive questions of guilt, he asked, before inquiring about talks underway to decide whether Gendron ultimately faces a federal death penalty. At that point, public defender Sonia Zoglin said, quote, it is still our hope to avoid a trial, and that Gendron was, quoting again, prepared to enter a similar plea to the federal charges as long as the death penalty is off the table. Talks about that are set to start in Buffalo sometime after the holidays before going up the chain ultimately to Washington for a final decision. Family members outside the courtroom talked about what could happen if the trial just goes away. And I pray that God holds him accountable. Kimberly Salter lost her husband, Aaron Salter Jr. Did he show mercy? I'm sure they didn't get up in the morning and say, I want to be shot today. Zanetta Everhart's son, Zaire Goodman, was one of the wounded. I want a trial. I want everybody in America to see what happened here on that day. And I want it to happen because it goes down into the history books. And as we know, our history books do not reflect the actual racist country that we live in. Attorney John Elmore, meanwhile, represents the families of Kat Massey and Andre McNeil. From what I've heard today, none of the families are advocating for life. They're hurt. Uh, Some of the families obviously made it very vocal and clear that they want the death penalty. Others uh, were just silent and they said, well, it's going to be up to the authorities to do what they do, but I'm not going to just jump up and, and say I want to save his life. Outside the courthouse, I caught up with Garnell Whitfield, whose mother Ruth was shot. Frustrated, very frustrated. Um, I understand his him having rights, and uh, I can't say anything about. You know, I can't 
I can't uh, advocate for trampling on his rights uh, because it's our rights as a people that have been trampled on down through history. So I cannot advocate for that. I understand due process. I understand all that. Um, but I think there's some gamesmanship underway uh, in terms of him pleading guilty. Dave Debo, WBFO News. So, this is Dave. So, y'all, you know, to me, Peyton is getting what he don't deserve. You know, he wants to plead guilty and for people to have mercy on him and let him live. When he took lives of innocent people in that market. I'm sorry, I'm just not feeling it. I am not feeling this compassion. I'm not feeling it, y'all. But I will say this, these folks got a lot of nerve. They got a lot of nerve. You know, Dylan Roof got the death penalty. I don't know what they keeping that weasel around for, but he did get the death penalty. And Peyton Gendron, in my opinion, deserves it too. And most of the people he took out, y'all, were a bunch of elderly people that got up in the morning to go shopping. That's all they probably had on their mind that morning. I got to get over to the supermarket and do my shopping. And then here he comes. Sure had no regard for life that morning, did he? He didn't regard anybody's life as important. But now it's his turn and his life may be on the line. But now all these things must be taken into consideration. You know, he he will plead guilty, but, you know, you have to spare him his life. You're supposed to give him what he did not give others. Well, that's pretty jacked up, isn't it? But y'all tell me what you think. Do you think they should leave the death penalty on the table? or take it off for a guilty plea? What do you think? Let me know in the comment section because I know plenty of you got a lot to say when it comes down to this case. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.